Sell out Sunday is next next Sunday. My stream just crashed. My chat just crashed. Just about your age, early 20s, laughing with well-dressed professor, grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. Drunk. What about taxes? You're pretty. She says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You're probably confused? Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags on a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. I don't remember this at all. Did they ever update the game? Backpack. Subtitles. It's gonna fall out. For over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the high school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers on a deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. She wants to get a dog. Hell nah. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Shepherd. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park, goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring school, bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. 1979, you talk, you talk out on the deck, it's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radiates off the highest desert. What do you think about the kids, she asks. Kids, they're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some couple of idiots. Fuck that. She looks away, out towards the mountains. We have plenty of life, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry. In theater, she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. Okay, one day, she says, six months later, get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. No fireworks. This is immersive as shit. Nineteen eighty. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angry by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Uh oh. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I ignore the mess. You don't touch each other all night. The next day, you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about the evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. Make some coffee and go to work. 1981. Julia likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose. It looks like a he-man. You look awesome, Pog. Jesus. Hog champ. Ooh, this is bad for bitrate, boys. Look at all the foliage. 
This player looks like like trash on stream. FOV. Dude, there's no FOV, dude. Continue to during the summer, you and Julia enjoy walking Mam at night. There's a festival in town that they bring in the folk from a faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. What the fuck? Mam runs away. May me move fuck dog, Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking it, which is stress. You comfort her. You confront the attacker. Yeah, fuck him. Your arms get cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough, you cry your eyes out before. The cops drop. Should I ask you to take a different path from that day forward? You say, okay, you didn't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. And for your plans, plans to have kids get laid away by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. I don't want to. Don't take it. You tell her that this means you two won't have a family. She says that's bullshit. She's totally right. She asks if her taking the job means you won't come with her. You say yes, again, bullshit. She decides not to take it. Pog. She asks to leave Boulder on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them for, to him. Okay, whatever, dude. She was found crying in stairwell. Make macaroni or macaroni is kind of pog. You watch Dallas on TV and sleep on the couch. Ah! Mam is getting older. You and Julia walk him to the bar, see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to university. Julia's affliction, get, Julia's affliction gets worse, so she can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car the next town over. For no particular reason, and as she brought on by the police, she's devastated. What the fuck? Some days, you get the Julia who calls you a dope, and your unborn children, little idiots. Other days, you get a stranger. She pulls into bed and make love after five minutes. She goes into panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to, to and from their home to Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by the little things that run in the day. She gets worse. You spend your days following Julia around in the house. You count your seconds between two weeks visits from Daniel, the nurse. She suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits. Ah, eh, full time facility, dude. Fuck it. It's not selfish, dude. Look, it's a nice elk. That's not selfish. Your family agrees to the decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. Damn. You got to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide not to see your old friends that much. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be closer. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it. If you won't say therapist, you won't. You're, you've always really liked Susan. 
Months go by, man dies, Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less makes her forget you more. You think summer is coming, and you see an ad in the very for a job. You take it, Paul. How did it enter the lookout tower? Well, dude, you know, dude, like, you know, that if it's like a degenerative thing, like, and they're really young, it's like, dude, if you spend your entire days, you know, commuting there and back, you know, you won't do shit. I'm sure she would have wanted them to, you know, enjoy life with, you know, for what it is, you know. Map table. National Forest Guidebook. Cookbook. Stove. Walkie talkie. Generator. Aha! Hello, Two Forks Tower. So, hello. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? None of your business, what's wrong with bitch. You? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I what, sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Um. True. Okay, you're probably out here because nobody back home can stand you. Which, fucking hell. This brief introduction is not a big shock. True. Ouch. Uh, I'll chalk that up to you being tired and grumpy. Well, I better get some sleep then. One sec. Now it's my turn. Okay, good night. Bye. <laughs> See, I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Fuck you. Firewatch. Probably more competitive than Overwatch. No kidding. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few yeah. hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your yeah, desk, you know, so call me when you're ready. What'd you say? What'd you say? Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? And a spinner. Yep, okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing, um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Oh, uh, yes! What the fuck? Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? West? Are those fucking fireworks? She's fucking cracked out, dude. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Shut the fuck up. Oh, I see it. Seriously, are you seeing this? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? 
Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and search. Two days? Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Why not? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. Wow. It's actually that for all of them. Smart. Smart. Shut up. Wait, there's a box somewhere? And to read the map. Yo, what the fuck? Guys, I'm not a fucking cartographist, dude. Okay, fuck it. I'll just follow the follow the west. Is that gonna go faster? Cause I can't read a map. No, I can't read a map, dude. I did. How do you even read a map? That's why we have Google Maps nowadays, dude. No rope? I don't need rope. I can make rope with vines and tree bark and shit like that. Isn't that how they make it? This is a cistern. Hey sisters. Where the fuck is the rope at? Guys, it's further down in the cache. Where's the cache? Yeah, you guys trolled me. I knew it, dude. Chat is debated, boys. I see we're on a uh, full debate mode. That's good. Feeling good, guys? Good? Yeah, boys. Bog. I'm feeling good, too. Or full throttle. Or, or... All I have to do is just fold it. Dude, it sounds dumb, but it, it felt to me like there was like a, um, a skateboard on a half pipe. The sound, but it's the fireworks. All I have to do is follow the, follow the, tr the sound. Some pipe head. There it is. Firewatch box. Easy. Woo! Rope. Okay. Maybe some granola bar, pog. A pine cone. What? Okay, I guess. Hey man, guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lockout and put some stuff in the box. Found some of those bars you liked. Fuck you, Dave. Map updated. Pog champ. Fuck Dave, dude. I want the bar? Because I couldn't take it. Hey, there's a snack in here. Probably gonna eat it. Where's that? I'm at the cash box. Fuck what you thinks. Read my comments? Question mark? Well, I read your comments sometimes. I read them and they're either stupid 
Or you want me to do something that is kind of weird. So I read it. I just chose not to react to it. It's not that I'm trying to be mean, it's just that I read most comments, but most of the time, if you, if you spend a question for like 10 minutes, I definitely saw it. I just didn't think it would be a good, cool you know, answer. Because it's just kind of like a... Fuck it, dude! I can repel down it. No, no, no! Jesus! Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Shut up. She's about to break my patience, dude. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. Uh, report, uh, reporting this voice. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. We just found where they're hanging out. Jesus, dude. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. Confiscates. Oh, shit. Ferret or Irish. They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Safe for later. Damn right, dude. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Ooh. Examine. That's about medium size. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? I, I lost. Don't say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Come on, I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know... Two? Two of them? Yeah. I know this will be tough for you, but try to pick your tongue up off the ground and do your job. Okay. What is that guy doing over there? Cool stereo! Whoa, hey, put that down! Fuck you. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. Ugh, this guy's creepy, Chelsea. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, alright? Don't threaten us. Yeah, who the hell are you, creep? Uh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes to boss people around. What? Why do guys think it's alright to just stare at girls? It's my job, you fucking whore. Fuck you! Put that shit in the water, didn't it? That was some that was the music at! Fight another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh fuck you, psycho! I fuck you too. Fuck you! You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. What about your clothes, dirty hoe? I have to go back home. Hey, that go okay? 
Uh, yeah. I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with him, though. Seriously. No problem. I can't take the backpack, it won't let me. Chad, did, did we miss a little legendary sex scene? Fuck, man. Yeah, I always miss the good stuff, dude. Feels bad, man. Happy Dan's Happy Dan Hill's little gaming. Wait, how do I go back over there? Oh, well, fuck me. It's bait. Look at the map. Ah, the other way. The fork. It's a fork. It goes both ways. Did have you guys parents ever like kind of like force you to go um, hiking with them at some point? As like a like a forced family activity for bonding purposes. Yeah, I had that. Pears, pears, pears! Yes. What the hell? I'm doing a crossword and I figured out the theme. It's homonyms. Pears, pears, pears. The clue was couples peeling fruit. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, hope you're having a good afternoon. Thanks. I have to go south. Yo, what's happening? So I was on the right way. I'm so stupid. Why am I a zero head? Alright, uh, go down, boys. Wait, what? Wrong way, read map. Now I need to go east. Guys, we can't! Go north from the lake. Oh, at the lake! I have to go backwards on the right side! I'm not lost, I'm fine, dude. Did it work? You mean with my parents? Oh, hiking? That was fine, dude. We went, we went to something called Mount Washington, I think, something like that. I don't remember what it was, where it is, though. What, what state it's in. We would climb that like almost every year. Every two or three years we climb it. It's in New Hampshire, there you go. It's pretty cool. Every time we'd go up, I'd start crying as I was like, dude, I don't wanna go down, it's too long, it's too much of an effort, dude. Can we just fucking take the train down? And then, I like, there's no way, I, there's no way I'm gonna go down. And then I ended up fucking actually going down without the train at foot. It is fucking annoying. Dude, why is it so hard for him to climb a small rock, dude? It's not that hard, man. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. Okay. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. You're drunk on the job, yeah, and that's well, good. Well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Almost there, baby. Uh-oh. 
Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Oh, hey, then thanks. I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not going to strike twice and all that. Well, there was an old lookout named Roy Sullivan who got hit by lightning seven times. I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't what killed him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe? Oh, God, okay, thanks. Ah! What about this? Yeah, I get the sense that not everything in here is useful. In the boxes? Why's that? I don't really know what I'll do with the deer horn. Firstly, they're called antlers. And secondly, stay out here long enough and you'll get creative. Oh, I don't like this noise. Hello? What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hello? Hey, oh, I didn't oh, name it. Oh, oh. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. It's locked. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, oh no! the Henry! fuck? Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. This cave is gated off. It's to stop Spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Oh, Thanks, chat. Yeah, More debate, but Pog. maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. J I have to be really bad. <laughs> We're here, boys. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. Uh-oh. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, Fuck yeah okay. you. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. That wasn't like a normal encounter. That was like a weird encounter, though. That was a weirdo. Loving the play through a classic of walking simulators, but I have to ask. Will you ever play Dark Souls 2 DLC? Blood Trail. You want to do that? 
Uh, maybe, who knows? Walking's pretty immersive though, dude. Since I don't run out of time, might as well run in a certain game, right? This is boring, thanks, dude. Ball champ. After playing um, a crazy amount of games every day, dude. Uh, Happy two months a bunch of other games every day. At the point you run out, you run out of good games. Felix. You kind of like run out of good games if I did. It's just kind of how it is. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and well, you don't have oh much my in the way God. of electronics. So, Chat, did you fucking see that what in about the my woods? Hair dryer? Hold oh, I'm me. sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Yo! Just another prime sub month from me. Moving on. Someone broke in. They what? They just, they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Holy shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. The fuck? Place is trashed. Bleach fog. Okay, I put in a call. It's a map. Well, what can they do about it? W will they catch whoever did it? This is the Forest Service, Henry. They're not exactly Hawaii Five O. Do you have any idea who would have done this? Uh, yeah. What do you think, genius? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Question uh, marks in chat. Them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, okay, in the morning I'm going to call my friend Patty, who works the desk down Patty. Patty. If you ever want another cozy relaxing game like since... this, I'd recommend uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. XQCL. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Uh. Just point me to the Forest Service weapons. Damn right! I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Rocket launcher? Hey Felix, glad you're playing Wake one up. of my favorite games. The story and art style are great. Hope you enjoy it, hey, man. Thanks for the stream, XQCL. Thanks for the... Turn to up, brother. I'm awake. Hold up. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. What? I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Can I go fix it? Well... I probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Hank? It's Henry. Yeah. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. 
They're not gonna be the rad shuller, dude. What the fuck? Dude, isn't the rad shuller like you're like one dude and there's like a bunch of girls and they want to date you or something like that? The cave needs a key, right? This is the wrong place. Oh, it's with the girls or whatever, right? And they want the, the host or the love or whatever? Oh, okay, yeah. I mean, I'm good at everything with girls. I just feel like, you know, it's like... Dude, you know, you know how it is. Dude, I'm not like a, like a hot dude, dude. I'm not like a hot Chad that juggles women. So having like girls like kind of like want me even if it's like for the game and the host, it's just kind of like a, you know. Where am I going? Where am I going? Oh, I'm almost there. What the fuck? Pog. No, we're not! Guys, navigating is crazy difficult. Well, we're back at the beginning. Okay, this is easy. Most of the girls like me. Yeah, sure, man. We're in Northwest, I think. See, if a girl talks to me, dude, her interest might be at like maybe like 10%, 10, 15, depending on who's around. If nobody's around, you know, I might have like a 40% chance, you know, like I think like, you know, well, the interest is spiked towards me, right? If there's a bunch, then it's gonna be like, you know, maybe like 2%. But then, but then, if you mention host, Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. I might just have all the, all the adventure to myself. Thank you. Thanks so much. Much love. Okay. If I don't find this place, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start just burning things. So the whole time all I have to do is go here, right? The whole time. Pog. Shut down, bitch, come on. Dude, look how much of a pussy he is, dude. He's not gonna jump off all of him here, over there. At least can he like slide down? Sliding isn't that big of a deal. <laughs> Am I enjoying myself the new four house? Eh, it's alright. Wait, but we don't have the key, chat, do we not? The controller was locked. Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Uh, you know, boring if you don't ski. 
we used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> I love that bar. Why don't you go anymore? Well, I'm oh. sure you have your reasons. I mean, it kind of smelled like beer puke in the bathroom. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Hey, oh. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Idea of what? I'm absolutely sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, if there's anyone or anything you want to talk about, fire away. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why Fuck are you freaking you. out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. She's annoyed. Jesus. She literally, in real life, Pepe laughed me. And it's none of my business? Oh, fuck you, man. Ooh, this is kind of rocky, chat. You can't go here. It's a dead end. I have to go around, dude. I have to go hiking. Or climbing, my bad. I'm not blind, dude. Did she shamelessly Pepe laughed me? Code? Two? Three? Gotcha. Of the map, the flora of a shot. Shashon. Why, no key? Hey yo, I got you not about needing to talk and I'm sorry I didn't track you down. I'm looking for you all day. I figured out it'd be near the canon helping those students, but I guess not. I didn't even know how I could need really needed help. Or coworkers, you know? Amigos professionals, if you need someone, throw a case back with and go time traveling. Ron's your guy. Okay, I'm gonna fuck you too then. I, uh, I found a turtle. Maybe it's a, a tortoise. It's a thing with a shell. Adopt! Well, isn't that something? It's actually pretty cute. Well, Henry, if you decide you want it to keep you company, nobody will mind. Now, what do I call it? Looks like a, uh, hmm. Oh, this ought to be good. Turt Reynolds? Turt Reynolds. <laughs> well, now I can't wait to see Going him. To... The mustache is impressive. You tell him I love Cannonball Run. More beer, dude. <laughs> Guess what? What is it? There's a bunch of empty cans up here. Same as before? Yep. These fucking kids. <gasps> Why do you think they'd be up here? I know, but they better have stayed away from our communication stuff. They jammed it, did. They're preparing a double kill. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. That's actually good to hear. I can send someone out to fix it. Good find. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was 
cut deliberately. I knew it the moment you said you found their trash. Oh, these idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. Jeez. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm -hmm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Whoa, yeah, I'd make a whoa. spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. She's a nutcase. Oh, um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find them. Thanks. But I am going to need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Uh oh, oh they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. Oh, the key might be in here. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition, too. That's lucky. I mean, there's, there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this. This uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Thank you, Neato. Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. He was a lookout? <laughs> Guys. Yeah, kinda, I guess. He was stationed in Two Forks. My stuck here? Lookout with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. A great kid. You can bring children out here? Mm, no. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. Jeez, what a pussy. Off halfway through the summer. What, they couldn't uh, handle your unique brand of charm? Not many can. Unsurprising. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a photodome employee. Please, you know, I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Map updated, dude. Dude, we're literally cartographers now, dude. We got the whole map figured out. Where, where am I going? There's a gate here, boys. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain link fence? A chain link fence? Yeah, it looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. Oh, I'll read the note. What's a lichen? Yeah, well, what's a lichen? I don't know what is. you lichen to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask <laughs> next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. That was kind of a high, dude, no kidding. <laughs> Sammy cooked something, what is this? Oh, it's chicken. Okay, Dave, this is going out with Debbie next week. I'm going to have to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for Lowe's. So I, come for, I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Jimmy Rock having himself in the hammock? So I think the Forest Service only picks up the range and perverted. Except for us, of course. What a cream. Nice. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire.
Excuse me, Flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. That's rude. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your <sighs> turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? It's beautiful. You settle down, man. Chat, is the um, foliage lagging? Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um, I thought about it and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, yeah, no you're shit. just out here in your own head. Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? Kidding me, of course I none. myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. Wait, I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people and mm, I like what are you boys the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades, and when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker for 15 years. I'm actually married. But you're here. Yes, yeah, so what? Everything's fine, just, you know, we're taking some time apart, getting some fresh air. A little change. Yeah. All right, well, we can just leave it at that. Thanks. Oh, wrong spot. She, she sounds kind of hot. We could date her. Wow. I'm on top of a natural bridge out here. Really? Is it a complete arch? Uh, nope. No, I guess the bridge is out here. Still, I think I could jump this gap to get across the canyon. Wow, you're a regular evil Knievel. Oh, yeah. You should see the jumpsuit I'm wearing. Oh, do we cross or not? Just, should we cross? Yo, Hannah, this is thirty-four dollars. I forgot. I forgot. But I did, it was on pause. Thanks so much, Anna. It says XL. This is $44 dollars. That's a lot of money. Thirty-four dollars. Thirty-four. Hey, Actual pog you. Are you sad? No. Are you happy? No. no. Are you gonna feel better soon? No. No. Joke. I just wanted to know if you're gonna play Welcome to the Game too. A gun. It was fun to watch you play. That game feels strong, man. Ah, uh, we kind of finished it though. We could do a hardcore playthrough at some point. I just tuned in. Is this a story game? XQCL. It is for him. Chat. Quickly. Smile, 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 smile. It's good smile, content, smile, but smile, you're not wrong. Smile, like, smile, 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 the game is kind of repetitive, smile, but also, we played it for like 60 hours. I have AIDS. Faster, lazy cucklord. Wrong place, Pepega. Lead mode is a very, very hardcore. Like, very hardcore. Home from work time to sit back and relax. We cozy chat, we cozy XQCY. We cozy chat, we cozy XQCY. We cozy chat, we cozy XQCY. Oh, months Pogo XQXL, love you, chat. Oh, thanks, man. I'm not gonna feed the turtle, dude. I could feed fucking. I could give the turtle some chocolate if he wanted to. If I want to take it further, didn't add a little bit of a twitch to this gameplay. Could uh, give a little bit of vodka, smile, though. Smile, 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 How smile, do you think smile, the turtle would handle smile, vodka? Smile, 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 if you like sniffing underage girls' panties. Okay, that's spread in.
Centrist scum looking ass, gives leeches exposure doing ass. Pool patrol Paul looking ass. Just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier. So I did. When you brought up your wife. XQCL love you man. Hey, do you see that? Well, you did. You can't just do that, you know? 15 years I know. XQC. I, know. I, I, I don't know anything about you or your life. There's smoke. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. Great. Find your way over there and give a L underscore. Dude, if you're saying, oh, dude, Raj give exposures to e-girls, ah, dude, the thing is that you're not wrong, you're just fueling incels in chat, but also, like, people watch them, so it's like, you know. If you think there's no audience for, you know, Poggers. boobies, then you're kind of nuts. People love that shit. Closing up on two years, Pepega. We go to the lake, chat, or do we go here? They both lead at the same place. Fuck it, let's go here. Okay, champ. You know that it's not good? XQCL. Raj hasn't handled his popularity well. I don't really know what that means. Hey Felix, it's been a you good nine months XQCL in rock fucking hard right now looking at pictures of your mother. Breakup. Smile, 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 okay. smile, yeah, smile. I, I pause it, yes, just because... It was Vernon whose wife got put away for running cocaine. Becca, what? who was widowed after her husband, a jockey, was trampled by his horse. And Sharon, whose boyfriend, had his own boyfriend. Maybe you boned the neighbor. Maybe she boned the neighbor. Maybe you both did. I don't judge. And if you ever want to talk breakups, I'm your gal. Okay, that jockey story is actually about you, huh? <laughs> no. But can you believe that? It's crazy, right? That's right. Well, so then who? I'm the rare breed. My heart's intact. That doesn't mean I didn't join up to get away. But there's more to life than sex and romance. I don't think about anything I'm missing out here that I could be getting back there. Mm, you know, I don't believe you. That's a hard cap. Why put on such a show? There's more to life than sex and romance. Get bent. Get bent. It's not a show. It's your business. Just don't lie. Maybe I'm horribly disfigured. Ah. Uh, I'm not. By the way, in fact, I'm looking damn good if I do say so myself. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? More than none, unfortunately, with most of them being in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a ptsd a-hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. The fuck? PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. He was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him and Ned was the only next of kin. Ooh. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Yeah, I don't know what that means. Oh, dude, Raj missed all his popularity. What does that mean? Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. What's up, man? It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Well, I'm still talking about it. Because I, it would have taken me 20 seconds to talk about it. But... 
The game has dialogue, so I have to stop within dialogues. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? That seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of beer out here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a Ooh. job this is. These girls have a full case of beer left here. A full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. That is some dedication. I can't take some. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, what the fuck? That's not good. Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. We're leaving and we're gonna find the police or whatever and tell them about you. You creeped us out on the lake and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing our panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking axe murderer and so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick. Fucking hot fucking Andy. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. That's kind of just petty, dude. Oh, they're gone, for sure. How can you tell? Well, the girls left someone, me, I guess, a note. Well, what's it say? Oh. Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, <laughs> did you? No! Well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is, I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's, it's okay. I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops, they're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Oh! A lot of my leeches, a lot of my good gentlemen. Well, if the result is the same, who cares what the, what the intent is? People nowadays on Twitch are very, very good at hiding their intent. Hey, Henry. But the result yeah. remains the same. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I could be Tom Cruise's good looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in people he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now, let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. Wrong, I'm black. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Oh. Um, now this can't be that hard. Tuxedos as often as possible. Oh really? You bet. How cosmopolitan! I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. Good one. Good to know, dear. Yes. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? A sex symbol. Uh, <laughs> A juicer. Well, I have a thin mustache, real thin mustache. I got a, a long scar, goes down across my eye and down my cheek. And you only wear tuxes? Yeah. Hmm. Are you a freaking Bond villain? I, uh, I, I get up to some stuff, yeah. I don't think you're taking this very seriously. Nope. I want to know about your eyes. Somebody in get out of here. Somebody's in the bathroom. I'm drawing you. I need to know. You're what? Is that okay? Uh... Don't... Don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. 
Sarah, steely. their steely, cold hard stare. Like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You got it. You get what you need? Absolutely. Where am I going? I forgot what you wanted. Oh, the plankies. Where are the plankies though? The downstairs? What am I eating? I'm eating some chicken, dude. And the downstairs, we missed them, I think. A cinematic here, boys. No, nope, never mind. I'm zombie. I love the streams you make me L giggle less than three. How much I did? Get a couple more boards. Oh, Don't tell them what to do. Roses are red. Your blood is too. You look like a monkey and belong in a zoo. Do not worry, I'll be there too. Not in the cage, but laughing at you. Thanks, man. I bored that, boys. No, I'm not doing 24 hour streaming. Of course not. My schedule's hey man, been decent you're now. awesome and ever since I discovered you, I you've been my favorite streamer. Up. Thanks so for all the laughs and What's the good next? times, XQCL. What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. That's it? Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're 13 months of listening to retard uh, spam 7777. Why do I okay. do this to myself? I think I am ready to tackle my long term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. I mean, it's wooden and there's no padding. What's wrong with wooden chairs, dude? I love wooden chairs. Splinter in my thigh this morning. Go gone for the ninth month. Well, regardless, take a Thank seat. Thank you for the everything you do and for streaming XQCL. Day nine. I think we missed. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? Not too bad. You get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, hey, I called with chat. bad I'm gonna How pause it, yes. Are you? We're doing great, man. Thanks so much. News. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. What? They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. I didn't do anything to them. Except destroyed their stuff. I didn't though. Just their stereo. Don't get defensive. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? Fuck it. Yeah, don't. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Fuck you. Six more days? Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Fuck, dude, she's annoying. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. She's drunk again. Babe, it's late. I know it is. You sound tired. Hmm, I am. Are you having a nice time? Uh, 
Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. The fuck's happening? Oh, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Oh, he's. Yeah. Delilah seems nice. Mm hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. Well, oh, feels better. Yeah, it's Jim. It's his ex-wife. Or his still wife, but I mean, she's kind of dead. Is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers? Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, Ugh. turkey. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. Oh. <sighs> Prunes are disgusting. Hey, so who's Jules? I I mean I assume it's your ex. I, I don't mean to pry. How do you know that name? I haven't said anything about Julia. Um Wait, is there something going on that I don't know about? <laughs> what? No. Look, a couple of weeks ago you called me in the middle of the night and you were talking in your sleep, I guess. I only heard the name Julia, so I figured I'd ask. It's Pardon. hard to talk about. You don't have to. It's hard because... Well, I, I fucked up. We all fuck up. But being out here can't be some sort of punishment for you. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia. Because that's where she's from. She's... She's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's it. Yeah, you should have asked, bitch. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen. I, oh my god, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but... Her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. Hey, I'm out at a ravine. What's this thing that spans across it? That is how you get to my sector. Oh, okay. no, no, no. Let me hike over. Well, it's locked up and mainly for emergencies. I've never actually used it. Rangers use it from time to time, but that's Fucker. It. Help! Oh, God, it's an emergency! Oh, really? Yeah, I got, I got, um, I got eyes on a tornado. I gotta yeah. get out of here. Yeah, lying, dude. Look at it right there. tornado in the heart of the Rockies? Yes! Holy moly, I need to call this in. Tom, Two Forks sees a tornado. He says he needs an evac into my sector. It's a meteorological impossibility. There haven't been tornadoes in the greater Yellowstone region in a hundred million years. You're gonna need him to stay and take a detailed personal account, even if it means giving his life. Okay, I'll tell him. Sorry, Hank. No dice. Man. Yawn, dude. Hey, fuck it. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Fuck them all, dude. Out. My Jeff shit Stewart's now. Right. Who do you think I am? Three sets of supplies. That'll last for a while, then. Hey, you didn't take all of the supply drop food, did you? Dude. No. I mean, I don't. Uh. I'm hungry. So you did. I gotta go. <laughs> Guys, what happened, dude? Fucking raccoon stole it. They ate the whole thing. You've Ooh. got a front row 
seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? So, no ideas, huh? Come on, there's got to be something creative in that brain of yours. Uh, Delilah's a nice name. <laughs> no, you big dummy. Oh, dummy. <laughs> I was kidding. Ha, come on. Mm, no, you were not. You're sweet, but we can't call it the Delilah Fire. Okay, what then? Mm, how about my middle name, June? The June Fire. Even though it's July. <laughs> I like it. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Ooh. What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You would like it there. If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you yes. looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Really? <laughs> Fuck, man. That's trash. Drop that. Drop. Fuck these books, dude. What does it say? Ron, I really, I really wish the power, the powers that be, that be could issue us. I really wish the powers that be could issue us radios that then suck ass most of the time I prefer to keep things pen and paper but every once in a while it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away as through leaving me message in mid office but I don't know okay this is useless dude I lost the fire boys Guys, the... See, I told you. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but... When the sun is down, you can just... Get lost. Okay. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Oh. Why do you say that? Because I do. I'm not crazy. I mean, we've had such a good time, right? Phone sex, Paul. Yeah, I think so. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. And I know you're not really available, but... I want you to know, well... Maybe it'd be nice to get together at the end of the summer. Ooh. Um... Look, we don't have to plan or even talk about it. I'm... I'm just having the thought. I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk without these radios. We could, um, you know. You know what? What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. How did this game? Fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, maybe you shouldn't have taken so much of it then. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. 
Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem, bear, fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, bear tracks boys, though. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the, uh, D, I found a clipboard down here and I, uh, there's something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Wait, hold on. Something's out here. Henry, I'm worried. You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. Fun! Got hit in the head, punched or Ugh. something by someone. I, I, I think I got a concussion. There? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with what? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't. What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry? Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. Why would I make this up? It's an insane lie at worst and a shitty prank at best. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know they were, so... What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our... Ron, I've got some bad news at the home. Hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though? Budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down and what PD? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me. But I don't, I don't know. Probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess must have got hung up. Overdid it, overdid what? Our whole summer. Someone is out here with a walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to God knows who. What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also... I'm gonna call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seemed spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger Real. than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Wait, hold up. Something chat has a, has a firewatch icon. Wait, something calling something chat called Rambo yeah. Slice has a firewatch icon. It. How do you get that? Did, did you get a Twitch icon when we when we finish this game? Dab 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 if you hate being alive. Okay. 
Oh, the game to Britain, you get it. Oh. Wait, dude, hey, I've noticed this before. Roses are red. Should we have Your the fucking? Too. You look like a monkey and buy the game to the to the fucking page worry. thing. I'll be there too. Okay, I'm at the fence. Not in the cage, see anyone around, but laughing but sure at you. Past... Asteroid. Okay. Right. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> we'll see what you can do to get past it. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Oh, I think I passed it. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. What if it is? Yeah, we'll see about that. How do I get past this bitch ass? Get through the fence. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Ooh, true. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. So, yeah, we can use the rock. Objects don't interact in this game. Yo, that's a long ass hike, dude. What do you mean rock? Guys, the rock isn't gonna fucking work. What is wrong with you guys? That is not it, boys. That is not it, dude. dude we have a hike and a half to do to go to Ruby River, dude. I'll, I'll play this while this is happening. But dude, this guy's wife has Alzheimer. So as far as his wife knows, she's not even married, right? Like, this, this is kind of like an ethical question, right? It's an ethical question. XQ At that point, do you do you divorce? Do you like? I love you, no do you just cheat? Like, like what do you even do? XQCL in the chat less than three. Poonches men XQCL. She definitely well not not really. I think divorce is fine. Hey Felix. It's crazy, it's already been a year, but an enjoyable one nonetheless. What the fuck Keep am I? Being yourself. Thanks, man. Love you and chat very much. XQCL. Here's a little motivational quote for you, Felix, in the chat. Don't ever let somebody tell you that you can't do something. something. Not even me. All right? You have a dream. You gotta protect it. People can't do something themselves. They wanna tell you you can't do it. If you want something, go, go get, get it. it. Less than three.
Okay guys let's test chat's emote game. 3 head. Oi bruv. Oi bruv. Oi bruv. Blood trail any trailers? Any trailers blood trail? Good job what's next? Man chicken. Yes. Man chicken. Great. Poggers. Ninja is on mixer. Poggers. Great job chat are you get two? Stars smile smile smile. Thanks man. You know, like, what are you gonna do, man? Like, obviously, it comes with morals and ethics. Like, yeah, you're still married. Yeah, since on your side of consciousness, yes, you you're aware that, that you're in a couple. Of yours, but on her side, out those kids. she doesn't even know it. It's kind of sad, but like, you know, if it's a one-sided relationship, one year, Pogba, because the other person cannot sort of be of their own half. Soon. What do you do? Seven. It's kind of unlucky. Love the streams. Wrong fucking side. Fuck. Thanks for four months of pure juice. Stay who you are, XQCL. Does it work like that? Well, it kind of does, though. 777 million 772? What would I do? I mean, dude, I'm not, I'm not in that Love position. Stream, Hypothetically? Have you ever played Splitgate? It's like Halo and Portal. That's I did. It would be sweet if you played. I love the game but can't find a ranked match, my dude. Pepe hands. Well, anything that a relationship gives you, or that it means, it's kind of like non-existent. If the other person is literally just AFK. I have to pee. So what are they gonna do? Play a fucking duo game while the other person's AFK forever? And not play another game or hey, log in with I another player around. stuck there, dude. Normal with everyone else. Well, are, are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course. Why wouldn't they be? I don't know. Maybe someone told them not to. You're suggesting that you and I are actually being watched by. Nineteen months to the most entertaining streamer on Twitch. Exactly. Keep being you, dude. Hey, Pogchamp Pog champ XQCL. Maybe the government? The United States Forest Service? I'm posted this one when there's dialogue. Excuse me. Are you a Douglas Burr? Is your trunk infested with bark beetles? Because if not, I promise you, they don't give a shit about you. Look, you should have seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, I guess I should have. All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said keep my radio close to me yeah before i got attacked back at the lake i saw a radio on the ground kind of like the one i use and do you think that maybe someone was you know uh... i don't know what maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something henry it's just a thought I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Somebody, somebody's trailing us, boys. I'm gonna fucking die. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Damn. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're, you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right, you're right. What about all the hot phone sex we had, dude? Who 
what a ski do? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Can't cross here, stop being such a pussy. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond. It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. <gasps> What is this? A corpse? It's a fucking log. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. I'm at the camp. Great. Have a look around. If if anyone's still there, they might be able to help. I'm gonna sound crazy. Maybe you just ask them to Ax. help you get inside the fence. If I didn't know it was out there, they probably don't either. This place looks dead, but I'll see what I can find. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. No, it's not. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the back country and getting through that fence. I found a little trowel. Maybe I should take it with me. Use it to pop open beers. Wow, um, 99% sure that's for burying poop. And I already touched it. Well... Jeez. Hmm. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's like a memo from their boss. Did it say anything of note? Uh. Squad boss Grant Carson, Wyoming Intergrancy, Hotspot Crew. Dr. Simmons at Wibbity Station, Thoroughfare Region. In the next few days, you and your team will be dropping into the Thorforge region of Shoshone National Forest to cut a fire line south of the river. I'm right on your behalf, Dr. Ben Simmons in Wibbity Station. He reached out to the superintendent with wildfire concerns about his research site. Upon your return, someone from his office will want to speak with you as a part of a wildfire risk assessment of the region. I told them they have nothing to worry about and that your team's fire fire lines are the most potent preventive measure in protecting their site, even though they will be more than a mile away. But I think they've got insurance companies to answer to. Thanks for your service. Uh, next few days, Dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that... that, that Fuck it! That. What are they researching? <clears throat> oh, you know, probably just horn toads. Maybe turtles and a And a Wapiti Station clipboard with our conversations on it is just, what, recreation for them? I'm just messing around. Somebody is obviously up to something. I'm freaking out here! At least we know there is something real happening behind that fence. I think that we should consider that... Maybe this is all just a coincidence, but my gut says that there is something bad going on. Uh oh, mine too. Okay, so what's next? Break in, dude. Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can and keep an eye out for anyone following you. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Same. I mean, he, he wasn't a scout or a weeblo or whatever? <laughs> I got the sense that boy could barely tie his shoes, let alone a clove hitch. What the hell's a clove hitch? Ah, uh, well, it's a knot that you are probably too old and too stubborn to learn. You use it to make rafts and shelters and stuff like that. Hmm. You know how to tie one? Heck no, I'd make a Weeblo do it. Are you there? I, I had a thought. 
Oh, chat. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. But what about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower. Shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. The fuck? Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the... Oh, 50th time today. The June fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? You can do me for... Are you kidding right now? Did you not stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. Yeah, of course, Zed. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Uh, uh, all right. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. The poster? Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the tree in the top row, second from the left? Let me look at it and I'll tell you. Oh, it's, no. so she's being encoded. You don't need to tell me, just, um, internalize it. It's, it's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Um, which tree am I supposed to internalize again? Top row, second from the left. <sighs> Head to a place named after that tree and you'll have a wonderful afternoon. Large full plan. Cottonwood. Found it. Not retarded. Shut up. She sounds hot though. She, we, we, we've been working really hard, dude. I think we deserve the phone juice. What's faster, you think? Downwards. I'm Dumbo. Dumbo. This way. I have to examine it. What? Why did I just go up six cases to get what? Bitrate? No, I stream from like 8 to bitrate nowadays, not 6k. Yeah, 
need to examine. Yeah, I examined it already. Oh, it's a Hassan raid. Thanks to Ventana, dude. Hassan, much love, dude. Thanks to the big fat juicer host, man. How did our, uh, our political compass, you know, overlap, dude? Cap. Obese Monka W, watch out, text you see she's oh, catfishing uh, you, she yeah. might okay. seem hot, but you'll meet I face to face and she'll be a 400 pound JDX man, but she sits in that office all day and doesn't move 700 gin till a and 7. I know it's now, so it's, what does it matter? Pope champ. Us going down was a good experiment. Yeah, dude, haven't you guys known, dude? Because ever since the summer started, I started view botting, dude. You know, dude, it's been paying the off so much. I love it, dude. Holy shit, man. The amount of brain that it takes you for me to synchronize a bot as what I was when I'm going online is just so smart, man. Look. Much I love, bro. Keep up the juice and don't forget 77 quid decillion 700. Also, I manipulate and stimulate donations by fake donating to myself and I fake donate TTS spam, right? So people emulate it and do it and then it, it sort of goes viral and everybody does, does it then. It's kind of a fire, fire, fire if you think about it. I've been here as long as a woman is pregnant. What is wrong with me? 77 trillion 777 billion 707. Okay, we need to go to Cottonwood. Cottonwood Creek, boys. This sounds like a, it's kind of a scary place. L underscore. What else is I talking about, dude? Love the stream. Yeah, dude. I wouldn't even get to call the topic earlier. The girl has Alzheimer's. Like, what, like, what are you gonna do? Like, it's so sad, but you know, you know how it is. Like, dude, you cannot have like a life to live, man. A ski. XQCL. What am I looking for? Because I'm a narcissist. Well, you will need to be careful. Just because lately on live stream fails, you've been hearing a lot of the word narcissistic. It doesn't mean that you know what it means, right? Narcissistic, right? Means that you can sound like you're obsessed with yourself. You love yourself. You love looking at yourself. But you see yourself very highly. It, that's what narcissistic means, right? So but the topic we just talked about can't even involve narcissistication. Hey XQC, thanks for the juice shirt and my Onyx Pokemon card less than pound. I don't really know where I'm going. It's the first time in the game that we've, we've been lost yet. Came back after not watching Twitch for a while and this couldn't be a funnier stream to have returned to. Keep it up wide people happy. Chat you're looking ugly as fuck today. Shut up. Oof, water. Pog, 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 pog. Morning, boys. Right. Play this song for Delilah. It's, it's like a. Well, I think the word you were, you were trying to say is selfish. And selfish doesn't really have much to do. Maybe it's, it's sort of linked to being a narcissist person, but I don't think it's entirely sort of, you know. It's not entirely the same. It is a selfish behavior, but... Inside of the gate there are scientists developing uh, technology that will help them... Can't do this off of this, stream. good luck. 
Mods, per per perma venom. I literally don't care. Put him on the cross streamer list so he can't donate to any streamer and can't sub and can't talk. Much love. White chat. Did I miss something somewhere? Make a new account? Uh, making a new PayPal account and loading it with money uh, when the other one is banned is kind of a uh, kind of hard to do. So good luck with that. Oh, it said it. It said it. It said it. Did you see it? There's a cash. Uh, I'm here at Cottonwood Creek. You see the cash box there? Uh, it must be around here somewhere. It is. Find it and open it. I changed the code. It's five six seven eight. Are you kidding me? I was in a rush. She came here and she didn't even visit us. Did no juice. Smart. I've got it now. Good. I spent all day getting you that radio. I hiked to a cash box, lied to a ranger, lied to another ranger, and hopefully you are now holding a clean, untapped radio. Hopefully. Holy fuck, Henry. We have to get into that site. Damn, okay. What the fuck is going on? People are listening to us? I don't know. Our radios are tapped? Are you fucking serious? Our radios are definitely tapped. That's why I left you the one you just got. How, how, how is this even possible? I don't know, Henry. What do you know? I know that I'm scared. Are there any other lookouts this is happening to? Someone else in on this? Anyone? just happening to us. Everyone else is fine. Are you sure? Yes. I've tried to bring it up to Chimney Rock, Elk's Fork, and Beartooth Lookout, and every one of them got confused. Asked me if I'm okay and if I need to be relieved. Our fucking state coordinator asked if I was just having lady troubles. So no, this isn't happening to anyone else, and I'm done asking. Okay, mods, mods, don't ban him, and if you have already unban him, and I will wait till the see the info checks None out. It makes any sense. Who is doing this? Sorry if I jumped at the gun. My bad. I don't I know who could be doing this. <sighs> Henry, I've been at this job off and on for 13 years. Sometimes here, sometimes over near Jackson, a couple times down in Wind River. And what the fuck was that? Like this has ever happened before. Uh, I just heard something. What is it? I, I don't know. It was goddamn terrifying, though. Well, it could be an elk, or it could be someone trying to get you to radio about a loud noise so they know where you are. Wait, what? Oh. Hey, uh, I just thought of something not, um, not great. Ooh, oh, that'd be baby. What is it? I filed a report that said that neither of us ever talked to or saw those girls, the ones that went missing a few weeks back. Yeah? Yeah, I told you not to say anything. You agreed with me. I know I did. And now someone probably has a transcript of that entire conversation. Ooh. And I've filed a report that's a blatant lie. Oh, and those girls are still missing. Yep. Uh oh. Fuck, Delilah. Fuck, indeed. We really need to get to the bottom of this. I know I'm going. Love your streams, man. Chat. 
Am I the only person in the world who chokes on dry chicken? When you eat chicken, most chicken, people don't like eating chicken because it's sometimes very dry. If you, people that go to the gym, they love eating their small um, little gains packet, which is uh, usually like rice and chicken and broccoli, right? They just love it. And the complaint is that the chicken gets dry, right? Because chicken overall is kind of like a dry thing, but they kind of have to because chicken is really good because of protein levels, right? Am I right or wrong? Holy fucking shit, XQC, it's a fucking skinwalker and it's coming to harvest you and feed your flesh to the wall of bones 77777. It kind of sucks. It's kind of annoying to eat dry Hello chicken. Too? What? Uh, no, I just mean like chicken overall. Like it's just kind of dry. Is it Best not? part about grandparents with Alzheimer's is that they be sending me one hundred every fucking two weeks or some shit. Well, it was because I almost choked to death, so I was like, you know, it's because chicken overall is dry even if you cook it like just a certain. He's one hundred fucking juices, my dog. He's. Well, I know, I'm just, that's what I'm saying, like, it's not... It's like a fine line between raw and juicy, so that's why okay. chicken's typically dry. Okay. Do you not care? I was just talking. I won't talk to you. I'm busting the gate down. Oh, sorry, I'm playing an immersive game. That's all. Uh, uh... Copy that. <sighs> Should I close it? I smashed open the gate. Should I try to fix or hide this? No, screw it. Okay, then. <laughs> If you're trying to reach Dr. Simmons, he is on site from August 15th, October 15th. University owned equipment is the responsibility of Dr. Johnson. Government owned equipment is under the purview of Kat Fernand. Remember, this is a controlled area, and any issue, malfunctions, or violations should be reported immediately. Ooh, what the hell is this? Who? Where am I going? Nice little view here, boys. Oh. Okay, I'm at the site. I don't see anybody around. Lucky for us. Yeah, lucky for us. D, there is some serious comms equipment out here. Wireless stuff. What do you mean? Wireless? I'm talking <gasps> a big 20-foot tall transmission tower. I mean, they could probably listen to whoever the hell they want. They're nestled down in this valley, which makes it impossible for you or any lookout to see them. Now they're doing something with the soil out here, too. It's all gridded off. Hey, maybe you were right about the lichens. I mean, there is all sorts of contraptions and shit out here. Like what? Dishes and stuff on metal legs. There are wires all over the place. I don't know. I'm not really up on high tech. This equipment is not stuff from the hardware store. Okay. Yeah, no shit, dude. The fuck is light? Ah! They're tracking my, our, people's movements. The map's got all sorts of paths and areas marked off on it. There are lines that look like some of the paths I normally take. Are you positive it's you? I'm not sure, but I think so. Uh, okay, this thing is losing its mind, beeping like crazy. I can hear it. What's it after? 
I don't know. I'm gonna go find out. I found their main monitoring desk. You should get out before they come back. Shut up! I'm, I'm, I'm investigating, yo. Yeah? I'm in their main tent. What's it like? It's definitely some sort of monitoring Aha! station. Subjects. She's 43. Ugh, she's a crust. Are you shitting me? What? What is it? There's a folder of reports here. What do they say? They're assessments about the two of us. Ten a week. There's stuff in here about reliable, Julia. observant, charismatic, like selfish. Stuff I didn't tell you. Susceptibility to manipulation. What, what does it say about me? You said there was one about me. And it looks like they've been following me around. What I do when I'm out hiking? Jesus. Henry, do you hear me? I have a boyfriend, Javier. Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> you haven't left that out. I don't. I I didn't. This is insane. I'm so sick of letting these people do this to us. We should just burn the place down. Guilt-ridden, susceptible to influence, Think untrue of self, reliable. Susce Worst case scenario. No. Uh... Look, maybe that's what they want us to do. What do you mean? M maybe they're trying to push us to the point where we do something crazy. I mean, the grass is dry as hell here. It would go up in a second. Well, now I'm thinking, what if you're right? I, I just don't think we should do anything that we can't undo. Well, maybe it's not the best idea. Yeah, it's definitely not the best idea. Ah, uh, so fucking wound up! It's alright, I'm just gonna hike back. We have the wave receiver and tomorrow we can figure out what to do. Nice pictures, right? Beautiful. What about what about the monitor though? There's a box here with a dial. It has a needle, like it measures earthquakes. You mean like a lie detector? Well, guys, was it, was the dinner right? Don't do it. Yeah, we gotta get the fuck out. I actually didn't, didn't, didn't see the dinner all because it was backed up. Say it's behind me? I don't think so. It's gonna rain. Guys, I couldn't see the dinner so I didn't read it. So for those that read it, did you guys get spoiled? I'll just ban his ass, dude. Holy shit! Whoa! Um, Delilah, there's smoke coming from the site. Yeah, I just climbed out of there and the bridge collapsed. What the hell happened to you? It's definitely not the best idea. It wasn't me. <sighs> what do we do? Oh, uh, Like a normal fire? No, I don't want to call it in. But it's not a normal fire, though. But uh, maybe it is. God. We ignore it, obviously. If they come to put water on it, then we know the Forest Service is connected somehow. The person who did it is still out there right now, Henry. We're talking about people watching us out here who are now burning the forest and everything in it around us. I, I, I don't know what to do about that. Except get the hell out. Yes, get us the hell out of here. I will. Whoa! Oh, that's cute. That means not hot at all, did it? I can't, I'm kind of mad at it. I looked at it. Uh, 
Oh, he wants me to go some direction. Are you leaving your lookout? This receiver picked something up. I'm, I'm just checking it out. Uh, what? What thingy? What now? I found a device that picks up frequencies. It's how I found the reports last night, and it's going off now. It just picked up a fre frequency? Yeah, what could it be? I don't know. You gotta find out. All right, I'm on my way now. You know what I just picked up? Uh, no. A fifth of Major Bueno tequila from the creek. I really did. Are you drunk? No. I uh, am getting drunk. Kill me. Hey, D, I don't want to harsh your vibe, but maybe, just maybe, that's a bad idea. Henry, Henry, Henry. What? You're harsh in my vibe. My thinking is I could stay up Ah, bomb! Ah! Because of the fire, or I could not worry and let the chips fall where they may. It's not like there's any proof we were down there. Shit! Ooh, the keys to that motherfucking cave. D, I, I found some sort of supply bag, D. light camping gear, some clothes, and basics, but it was alarmed. I think that's what was making the receiver go haywire. You're okay? It's not a trap or anything? Yeah, I'm fine. But there's there's also a set of keys here. I don't know why they'd be hidden out here. They say Shoshone National Forest, Cave 452. Is that the one in the canyon? Yeah, it is. <sighs> Who the hell took him? And what the hell is in that cave? Okay, okay, let's just think. Says the woman with a half a bottle of tequila in her belly. True. Maybe they're panicking and we're preparing to beat it. The fire has them spooked and we have new walkie-talkies, so we have the upper hand. Yeah, well, it's hard to feel like you have the upper hand when you're standing in the dark in the middle of the woods. Oh. Well, you're back in your tower. Maybe you need a drink, too. Uh, no. Not in my tower. I am looking at a man standing in your lookout. And it's not you. What? It is not me. Oh my god, go. I'm going. No! Yep. Shortcut. Come on! Yeah, dude. There's no way to know we're coming now, right? Smart guy. Maybe pull out the axe, maybe pull out a gun. The turtle. Oh no. I don't see anyone up here. She was just there. Talking down at the site. It sounds like it was recorded from somewhere nearby. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, and it sounds like we were the ones who burned it down and that it was your idea. No. We are screwed. No. D, just don't freak out, okay? Don't oh, freak out. Oh, he's fine, guys. Oh, my God. What the fuck is happening, Henry? Guys. He's okay. Reynolds is okay. Why people happy? Why people happy? Hey, what is this Moxie mic, dude? Jesus. What's wrong? sector early this morning and said that I knew what caused the Wapiti Meadow fire. Um... So, I just got off the horn with that lookout who's wondering what I know, or that I'm an arsonist, or that I'm fucking losing it. Furthermore, I bet you don't have the only tape of us from last night, so someone has evidence to back it up. 
We need to find out what someone's been keeping in that cave. Okay. I'm going down there now. We don't have a lot of time left out here, and if we don't find some fucking answers, when they lift us out of here, it's gonna be in handcuffs. Okay. Well, she hasn't been doing shit. We just, we have to stick together, okay? Keep our story straight. From the first day with those girls to the person breaking in on our conversation, everything. We just, we gotta be honest and consistent. Yeah, I suppose you're right. I know. I know. She hasn't done shit for us. She hasn't even showed up once. And when the first time we needed help, she got drunk. Did absolute ho. Hey, you... You didn't actually make that call, right? To, to the other lookout. It just stuck in my craw. I, I let myself imagine how fucked I would be if you'd been lying to me. But now that I asked, I kind of just wish I hadn't. I didn't do it. I don't even know how to call anyone other than you. And please, rest assured, I would have found someone with a better sense of humor a long time ago. <laughs> okay. Insurers? Thanks. <gasps> oh. Hey! 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 Echo. Oh. K452. What the hell? Jesus, this is a big cave. Long, steep drop. Thank you so much, game narration. I did not know. Holy shit! It's a deep ass cave. It's freezing in here. It was like a shoe, like a J, like a J's. How, how do you call it? A, a J with singular? A pair of J's? A J? Two J's? A Jordan. Uh oh. We missed something. Maybe we should go back. I think I missed either the shoe or some diamonds. What's happening? I actually got to get everything that's off locked. That would have been really bad. How do I go to the shoe chat? Oh, the whole area is new. Maybe there's an un other way to the cave that leads to the other cave. It's like a two cave drop, but the whole thing is 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 sawed off from from the entrance itself. You can jump down, you sure? I'm being trolled about chat. There's only one way to find out, boys. Gotta go do it. 
Sorry for the back and forth. I guess. Maybe I should zoom in on it. I missed it? <sighs> We're all good boys. This is this is like a real life, dude. Sometimes you gotta double check and you know. A long steep drop. See, I told you guys, there's nothing. See, nothing. What door? Okay, this is the last time I'm going back and then I'm, then I'm done. Everybody says go to the door, go to the entrance, so I'm going to the door. We're at the door, boys. Delilah, someone locked me in the cave. Is this thing working? Delilah, send someone to the cave, please! Can't get any damn reception. Have evidence, boys. So I told you guys there was nothing. I wasn't crazy. I'm not crazy. Sometimes, not sometimes I'm crazy. We're all crazy sometimes. We all act a certain way. Maybe we shouldn't. The shoe is further up. The shoe? Is further up. Is oh, anybody down there? So I was right, Paul Champ. Can't use rope. This, guys, this game is not cryptic. This game is very, very straightforward. When something happens, dude, it's pretty obvious that it's there. Okay, grapple. Hey, hey, are you there? Yeah, what is it? What did you find? Nothing yet, because someone tried to trap me in there. You saw someone? No, someone slammed the gate behind me and then ran away. I found another way out, but if I hadn't, Jesus! So, so you didn't find anything? No. Th there's a spot where someone had sunk an anchor, but the hardware's gone now. <sighs> I don't have any climbing equipment. I just have my ropes. I'm gonna hike back to Two Forks and see if I can find anything that could double as an anchor to use in the spot. I can't jump. Well, that doesn't sound dangerous. Oh. <laughs> Delilah, I just found an outcropping that someone was using as a little fort. I think it was Brian Goodwin. Really? Yeah, he built himself a real castle. He was in the middle of really sprucing up the joint when they left. Hello? Oh! Shut my face. See? Told you guys! This is a circuit board. Or... This is an electricity. 
This means a switch, I think. No, it doesn't. Dear Mr. Zuckler, I'm with my dad in Lander, Wyoming. It's pretty neat. Dad fished in a spot called Sinks Canyon. Um, most of Wyoming looks like Nebraska, but then there are mountains and wood when you go far. I'm sorry I can't mow your lawn this summer, but I hope you found a good person to do it instead. Can you write back and tell, tell my dad when school starts because I don't know, he, I don't think he knows. Your neighbor. Bunch of rocks stacked up. You made a wall and a perimeter. Oh, God. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. You know, maybe he made it because he was afraid of them. Uh, whenever I think of Brian possibly going through this crap, I get... I get sick to my stomach. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Brian, good one. Rough draft. Mrs. McNamara, 6th grade. Talking meteors. How hammer do waves can use meteors to talk to far from people? What if I told you that you could use meteors in our atmosphere to talk to people far away? You could possibly think I was a liar, but you could be wrong. Meteors, the alien rocks that come to our planet from outer space, can be used to bounce ham radio waves off of and let you use your radio much better than normal. Right now, you were thinking, okay, Brian, this sounds like a movie. But flight of the navigator, it's not real. Well, you're wrong. This is real it's science. It's possible because the meteor scatter communication science fair project proves meteor scatter communications. But what if, what if, what it is? MCS is a radio pro propagation, propagation, pro propagation mode that utilizes the ionized trails. Okay. Hi, my name is Brian Goodwin. If you found this note, it should be with a bunch of climbing anchors, I hope. Could do me a favor and please return them to me, Brian Goodwin, in the mail. My address is 55. Fuck. Leaked! Leaked! Player Brian Gladius. Hi, uh, this is some fucking Dungeon and Dragon shit. We have to go back. And now we got answers. Unless. Oh my god. Absolute soy boy, dude. I found an old school folder. Brian was a hell of a doodler. It's a little weird that he'd just leave so much of his stuff out here. Well, maybe they were in a hurry when they left. Like I said, he wasn't supposed to be out here. Yeah. I... Uh, they almost got busted. Brian liked to go out on the railing of the tower and wave at the planes that dump water on fires, and... Uh, I got a call because someone thought a kid was up in two forks. I lied. Aha! Uh -huh. Just said it was Ned. If I ratted him out, they would have been forced to leave, and... I don't know, I guess I just felt like I was saving him from whatever shitty life Ned was going to bring him back to. Mm. Not that it ended up mattering. Man, feels bad. I think we're in the right place. What do you think is in there? Probably something that will kill me. So, you know, just sort of getting myself right with God or whatever there is. Henry. I mean, they closed the door when they could have just... Bashed your head in with a rock or chopped you up with a... Are you serious with this shit right now? Uh, <laughs> hatchet. God, are you sure you want to go back in there? Yeah, especially now that I'm thinking about all the fun ways to be killed. I'm sorry. Look, at least whoever locked you in doesn't know you've gotten out. Hopefully you find whatever they're hiding in there, and it'll be worth the risk. Uh, 
And these spoiler spam boys. And mode only? Oh, and mode, mods uh, mode only. So those girls turned up. Looks like you didn't kill them. Nobody did. Oh they shit! Took some farmer's tractor for a joyride down in Riverton and uh, landed in jail. Yeah, I wonder if they know anything. If there's some way to ask them about whatever happened at their camp. I think we'd be smart to let sleeping dogs lie. You're probably right. There it is, boys. Come on, come on. You made it. It all comes down to this, boys. Oh! Watch your head. Oh, oh shit. Ugh. This is really deep cave. Feels bad, man. I'm out of the Kevin report the body. Yeah, what if I get stuck here, dude? But it was locked, so, so, so somebody knew they were there. Oh, I get it. I get it now. It's his fucking dad, dude. His fucking dad knew that he fell. And he's trying to report, like, the body or whatever. Or something. That's where it went. Oh. No. Yo, Hank, come on, man. Alright, we can remove a uh, mode only mode, I think. What's happening? Hey, D. There you are. I've been worrying my ass off. You need to call search and rescue. Um, what? There's a body in the cave. It's Brian Goodwin. <sighs> Gotta be fucking kidding me. How does that... <clears throat> what? I don't... Oh, no. <sighs> How? Climbing, I think, or made to look like a climbing accident. I, I think that's just what it was. I mean, he was probably exploring the cave and, and maybe his rope gave out. But whoever locked me in there probably didn't even know about him. Ooh, I don't know about that. I'm sorry, Delilah. I'm so sorry. He'd be alive if I had told someone he was out here. I don't know where he'd be, but I can assure you it would not be rotting at the bottom of that cave. I... There's... There's... 
there's nothing to see. The hike back. I think we're leaving tomorrow anyway. Feels bad, man. Whiskey. Hey, boys. Saving for the lady. Wedding ring. You see that plane? Uh, no, I was just busy packing up. Well, there's gonna be a lot more. The service says this thing is 2% contained. Well, is this the June fire or the site fire? Or... Well, the two fires merged into one unmitigated disaster. They're renaming it after my lookout. You about packed up? Shouldn't we talk for a sec, you know, about things? Where is he? What? We still don't know who was listening to us, who was following me around, who made that tape. Yeah, all we have is the body of a dead boy who did nothing wrong. But maybe we can still find these people. Look, I think whoever is out there caused the site fire to cover their tracks, and I'm almost certain that when I get off the helicopter, I'm going to be led into a room and made to listen to a tape of me saying we started it. And we don't know shit. What can I do? Oh! Well, there's something for you to do. Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah. Uh, oh my god. Chat wars turn my nose. It, it could be nothing. Yeah, it could also be whoever was listening to us. Who, whoever made the tape. Okay. Yeah, um... Look, you should pack up everything you need in case we get the call and you can't come back. All right, look, if, if something happens... I'll remember you. There's a cassette. I was hoping you'd have a backup plan or something. Yeah, um, okay. Let me see. Wait, we don't have turt! I'm probably gonna move to Canada. Ontario, maybe. <laughs> Ontario. something happens to me. Right, if you don't find out who made the tape and I have to hit the road. Forget it. Be safe, Henry. Is I can't take under the bed. Okay, where is this gonna lead us, boys? Fuck, man. Can't see shit right now. Maybe third was, uh, he couldn't breathe because of all the ashes and then he got out. Poor Turk, man. You guys think he's okay? Oh, shit! God damn, that's a high drop, boys. Looks like it's the right direction. What's your status? I think I'm getting close. All right. Well, I just got word that they are coming to get us. My place. You sound worried. No, it's it's just. Brian. I'll coordinate with the evac team and let you know when to head towards the tram. It's north, far, past where you found that cut back in May. Oh, There's geez. an emergency tram out there that will let you hike to the rendezvous point at my lookout. Found it. Northwest. Here it comes. left a rope for me to climb up. I'm down near the lake. How do you know That's... it's for you? There's a tracking collar tied to it. Someone was leading me here. And there's another tape. Oh my god, Henry. Yeah, hi, Henry. Hey, you better find this before it burns up. We've been causing each other
each other a lot of headaches. Now I gotta go stake out a site that's as fit for living as the one you're about to find. You'll get it when you see it. You can't blame me for keeping an eye on you. Not after bumping into you back in May. Down by the cave for Croc's sake. What? I've been up here for three years. I kept it cozy. Winters are harsh as hell and I ran out of books. But I got that antenna rigged up and Delilah, she's a she's a record you don't gotta flip. I kinda get why Brian took to her. About a week ago I stopped worrying about you finding anything out and that's right when everything went shit house with you two. You guys don't know anything about having kids. All right, nobody knows nothing. It ain't Andy and Opie walking down a lake to fish every afternoon. It ain't Mayberry. But you gotta know I didn't kill him. All right, we were climbing. I was teaching him. Brian was uneducated in the way to do anything. He just, he just, he just fucking didn't sink his anchor the right way. You know, I thought about going back, having to answer questions and having to get him put in the ground, and I didn't see the point. What? Don't come looking for me. Sorry about your wife. We found the surveillance operation. Okay, what does that mean? What is it? It was Ned Goodwin. He was the one listening to us. Just him. Ned Goodwin? He made the tape? Yeah. He's gone deeper into the Shoshone. He doesn't want anyone to know he's out here. The because he killed Brian. Because he killed his fucking oh, rad, son. Bad mega dad. He's got a, a, a survival bunker with radios and everything. He made it all up. Y you need to get back here. They say the helicopters are making rounds. Okay. This boombox looks familiar. Oh, he, he salvaged it. Yeah. I thought you threw it into the lake. Well, he must have fished it out. I'm out of pictures. Yeah, I remember this. It's familiar. Research site info. How to break in. Staff return August. Oh, I get it. The supplies, book matches, winter jackets, blankets. You should see some of the stuff he was working on. I guess he had a lot of time on his hands. And no shit. Really? He was rigging up stolen batteries to keep his stuff going. He's got a radio base station up here. He was listening to us on that. He had quite the view. Is she listening, bitch? Oh shit, we gotta go! He wrote down everything he did to us. And everything he did every day. He was scared shitless. They never called for hikers lists, re-rigged the line out, pick up frequency. Triff is a good guy. Drunk again, drunk again. Finally she answers. Good day, Software Ranger year. Damn. Oh, yeah, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Is that where I'm going? We gotta make it back, boys. Uh. I'm in the wrong direction.
Do you think we have enough time to go back for church? <sighs> have to go north, huh? Ah, uh, chat turns dead, boys. Evac point. The left side. Canyon up. It's our only chance. Yeah, chat, I think it's time to say to let go and say goodbye. Say goodbye to, to Jules, but more importantly, Turt Reynolds. Turt is gone. It's okay. Humans aren't really good pet owners anyway. He's gonna have a better life than. I know I should be relieved. Relieved that there's no evidence of us starting that fire. Relieved that we're not crazy. That there wasn't some conspiracy. But I'm not. He was a sweet kid. With a shitty father who hid out here like a coward after dumping him in a hole. Lila, I, I think it was an accident. And I don't think Ned meant to kill him. We don't know what happened for sure. Ned wanted his son to be able to could go home and more time. do the sorts of things he did himself, but Brian couldn't. And how'd that turn out, Henry? Sorry. God, it would have been so easy to tell the truth and have him sent home. I can't stop thinking about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Yes, I did. And now I've got to decide whether I tell people that he's down there so they can retrieve the body or not. And if I do, I'm going to be asked about Ned Goodwin. <laughs> D. D. Oh, fuck. Is that a helicopter? No. Yeah, hold on. Hey. No, there's one more. Yes, here, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm all set, man. Okay, uh, one second. Hey, they're here, but they're making rounds. They'll come back. Um, I think... I'm gonna go with him. Oh, fuck you! Wait, just wait, okay? I'm not that far. Henry, they're here. They're waiting right now. Fuck you! Yes. I'm coming! Henry, I don't... I don't want to meet you and just sit here in a dead boy's shadow. Okay? I, I don't want to do that. Well, I don't give a fuck what she wants, dude. I know that sounds harsh. Thank you. I'm not far. Okay. Dude. It happened, boys. I went in like the wrong way, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad, that bad of a path we got. It's getting really bad, dude. Look at this. <laughs> Ashes are getting to my lungs, boys. That's a long ass run, dude. I'm not gonna die here, right? There's no way, right? Should I remember? It was right here, chat. It was right here. 
It's right here that we met with Turt. Turt Reynolds for the first time. Now he's gone. Here's a memory in our hearts and our minds. He's just virtual pictures. We'll never be able to hold him again. Toad is gone. <laughs> Almost there, wait for us. We're right here. No, we're not. Hello? Hello? Right? This is the end of the road, boys. I can barely see anything, dude. My eyes are burning up. Spot near the ravine. Delilah, uh oh. Are you there? Oh no, please. Delilah? Huh? More for the road. It's a spot. Oh, God, it's a nightmare out there. Right? Hello? Delilah? Anybody there? Hi. Y yeah, it's me. You're not here. No. Don't be mad. The fuck's wrong with you? I am. Well, I couldn't be out there another minute. Not another minute? Come on. Henry, how did you feel when you left Boulder to come out here? Like I couldn't get here fast enough. Exactly. That's how I felt for the past 24 hours. <laughs> well, I'm still mad. But you understand. I don't. I don't. I was too inspired. Not really. It was just a few minutes. Exactly. I'm sorry. It's all right. Hey, it shouldn't take long for the helicopter to reach you. Okay. Shameless. There's a debrief in a situation like this. Lots of questions. Ah, uh, shit. So, taking stock, we found out an old lookout killed his only son and decided to become a lonely hermit. Yes. And we prevented one fire? Basically started another. Okay, so that's a wash. Oh, I'll have to figure out what I'm doing every summer from now on that isn't this. You're not coming back? No. And you'll have to... <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Me neither. I don't Damn, know bad. what's next. Tell you what, why don't you choose for me and I'll choose for you? <laughs> All right, sure. Um, maybe.
maybe you could come back to Boulder with me and figure it out down there. Right? Just, just a thought. You don't want me down there. Oh, come on. Well, just asked you. Look, I've got some things to do in Casper, and maybe I'll head south sometime after that. I could come by, sure. Oh. Okay. Pog. So, what about me? I think you should go to Julia, and then you can figure it out. Maybe put that typewriter to good use. Give me a sexy accent or something if you write about this. I am. Um, yeah. She doesn't know. You gotta go yeah. see her. Yeah, about that. Would you? Henry, I... <sighs> Look, you came out to put your memories behind you, and they're still right there in front of you. She won't even recognize me, Delilah. You're not just going for her. You don't know what it's like. <sighs> Bad things happen, okay? And you have to... You have to find a way to contain the damage. A good way. Well, hopefully and I just... can figure out a way to do that. Yeah, I hope so. God, this got dark. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, there's the helicopter. Good. They'll land back where you hiked up. Good luck, Henry. I'll, uh, I'll see you when I see you. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, she's she's baiting. She's not going anywhere with us, dude. We're a champ. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah, she's not coming, dude. She's just... She just like the attention, dude, but... That's about it. We fell for it, dude. Pictures? It's not pictures, dude. Hey, take that bitch. I'm out. Coming. <laughs> Where's it at? I don't see it. Where's the heli? Right there. What's up, man? Go home, huh? Bye, turds. See you on the other side, buddy. 